COVID-19 is a global challenge which ultimately asks for global scientific and technological solutions. Technion, we have already started to direct the brain power of our faculty to addressing these challenges. We really need to take this virus very seriously and more for the safety of the community at large, in particular those that are compromised within the community. What we did, and this is a, as a joint team of Ramba Medical Center and the Technion, is to show that we can use a current detection method for coronavirus and even the current equipment, yet with much increased uh, scanning capacity. My lab and I have teamed up with Rambam Hospital and a couple of friends from Boston to develop a rapid and simple diagnostic test to be performed at home. The idea is to use your saliva to test whether you're positive or negative for COVID-19. Negative would be pink, positive would be yellow. In my lab, we harness thermal imaging together with machine learning techniques to monitor the body temperature and breath patterns of subject from afar. This system is already operational and is located at the Bellison Hospital here in Israel. We invented a technology, a feed, that boosts the immune system of animals and protects them against viral diseases. We understand how the virus works. We understand where we can actually attack the virus to stop its progression inside the body. We hope to prove that actually our ghost can entrap the particle of the viruses and serve as a decoy and clean, actually clean the lung from the virus or at least most of the viruses we try to infect. We're developing a novel pulmonary drug delivery platform. It's called liquid foam therapy or LIFT. Now LIFT is potentially a game changer in respiratory therapy. Its first application is for acute respiratory distress syndrome or ARDS. ARDS is the leading cause of death in severe COVID-19 patients and there are no cures available. LIFT will potentially be the next rescue therapy. The concept behind this regenerative mask is actually to put the oven inside the face mask and actually hook it to a phone charger which we have all of us. This invention actually allows you to reuse your mask over and over again. Maya sticker was developed at the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering. We are upgrading the surgical mask with the Maya sticker, which is attached to the outer surface of, of the surgical mask. The Maya sticker is consists of two elements, the nanofibers and biocidal agent. We hope that soon most of the world is going to use the Maya stickers, which was developed at the Technion. Looking forward, I see uh, the role of this uh, greenhouse canopy much larger than right now, just fighting the coronavirus. And I think it's going to be a gold standard in every hospital so to have several of these greenhouse canopies, even much, much after the coronavirus is not the main threat of the world. We used uh, a system that is uh, based on this manifold, the air going out from this manifold from the forehand in an angles that are changing toward the sides. So better protecting uh, the face, adding protection to the face using this filtered air, using a, a blower. Here we develop uh, materials that can limit the spreading capabilities of the coronavirus. So we develop special polymers that they can spread them uh, uh, in the different surfaces and can limit the spreading capabilities of the virus, thus can kill it and uh, stop this pandemic and limit it as maximum as possible. So what is uh, the product that we uh, develop? First of all, the robot can deliver food and the uh, medical cargo up to uh, 30 kilograms. It has a rechargeable battery up to uh, 10 operational hours and uh, easy operation. We've developed a simulator that allows policy makers 
as well as the general public to assess and compare different intervention um, steps taken to address COVID-19. For example, assess the impact of closure of schools and so on. In this research, we harness our previous work on sewer systems. And what we are developing is a smart surveillance and early warning system for corona epidemic spreading. Looking up the sewer system, we can track hotspots of corona morbidity. We can give decision makers the much needed information where to invest the efforts either to quarantine or to treat the population.